Hi guys, welcome back to another video. What do we have? We have a Volkswagen Transporter. And what's actually happening to this is we're leaking water, or at least the customer says he's losing our leaking water. We have pressure tested, and while you keep pressure on it, our gauge, not pressurized now, is dropping down. Our engine code, you can't see it, it's more off the sticker. BEI, you can see it stuck in there. So, what exactly is, is happening? What exactly is happening to this thing is we had pressure out there on it with our pressure tester and no drop or at least very very little over a long long period of time left for 12 hours or so um trying to see if there any drop and was there any leaks or wet bit patches on the ground and we had nothing so long and short of it is um i started it after a long period of sitting here when i did i had out the back bart loads of smoke and she gave kind of a kind of a stutter splutter fart whatever we want to call it um water ingress and then i went along and we'll have to probably prove this when we get it out but i was talking to a chap that was working in the dealers and he said very common and don't even think about it he said cooler Cooler on the jar valve is failing, he said. You won't see it on a press te pressure tester. And it's going to be ingesting water when the jar valve opens and you give it a snap of a throttle. So this is what we're going after. Um, it's a Pierberg EGR. Is that a part number? Part number sitting there as well. Do we have, um, it's a Pierberg EGR valve and cooler that's going in. It is all one unit. And I don't believe you can buy them separately. So for now, what we're doing is going through the fitting process of sticking this thing into it. And fingers crossed, we will see water somewhere inside it. And we'll get a bit more proof as we're going along, okay? But for now, fitting this, just a walkthrough of getting it into it and seeing how much is involved in it. All right, I'm gonna pull it into the workshop, boys, and get going. Okay, guys, getting in here to do a visual. Or a bit of stripping. I've taken out the reservoir, so the coolant reservoir has come out of here at this point in time my next angle is i'm going to get rid of the fuel filter out of it and i'm going to get rid of all of these fuel lines that are sitting across and in my way the gr cooler is sitting down here on top of the gearbox just kind of up over the gearbox at the side of the block you know what i have also to point out is that our egr valve itself is wrong so this is wrong we have another one coming i'll show you the makeup of that in a few minutes okay while in here, two bolts holding in our fuel filter housing here. There's also, I don't see it there, I thought it was gonna fall out of it. There's also a bolt of some sort holding bottom of that bracket in, so let's get that off it as well. Um, I just went in and went digging a little bit. We had our, sitting in here was the windscreen washer jar uh, top up nozzle. One little 20 torques here. And that actually comes out of the jar just with a twist, okay? Rather than having done bolted or anything, it just gives you a little bit more, a little bit more room. Um, right, we're getting there, starting to get a bit of space into it. On that little bracket here, there's an actual stud going in and you can get out enough that sits on the actual filter housing from that point. So it's nearly opposite to where these bolts are, only a bit lower, okay? Brought the pipes with it and left them well, I suppose what I could connect it. I also hate coming out that little, uh, some kind of a controlled solenoid to something. Don't know what it's for, but again, I have pulled off the pipes off it and I have marked them. You might be able to see my little yellow dots there, kind of dirty at this point, but they are yellow dots on them so I don't get muddled up. I left the little vacuum pipes stuffed out there by the radiator. Next thing I'm pulling off is, I don't know what it is, plastic kind of a, junction box or something like thing. Um, a couple of clips off onto the cooler down here I'd say I'm just going to push it to one side because the duplicate down, the clip down here is hard to get at and the actual duplicate in on the pipe itself is kind of a funny looking yoke so I'm going to I'm going to not take that apart so I'm just going to push it off out to one side for myself so I can um work around it but at least it gives me that little bit of room with it gone out of it we're starting to get in and see our egr cooler and valve at this point in time what i have from the 
bit of digging I've done, done just now because the other EGR valves are wrong is I can get my hands on an actual cooler which is separate separate from the actual EGR valve itself so right now what I'm getting is a, a cooler that will be unbolted from that EGR valve and that's only only the dealer that I've found it at this point in time anyway so that part is what I'm getting and I'm going to be unbolting my bolts around here okay um, the whole thing is coming off my hand though to be the chip down here is hard to get at and the actual duplicate in on the pipe itself is kind of a funny looking yoke so I'm gonna I'm gonna not take that apart so I'm just gonna push it off out to one side for myself so I can um work around it but at least it gives me that little bit of room with it gone out of it we're starting to get in and see our EGR cooler and valve at this point in time what I have from the bit of digging I've done, done just now because the other EGR valves are wrong is I can get my hands on an actual cooler which is separate separate from the actual EGR valve itself so right now what I'm getting is a, a cooler that will be unbolted from that EGR valve and that's only only the dealer that I've found it at this point in time anyway so that part is what I'm getting and I'm going to be unbolting my bolts around here okay um, the whole thing is coming off my hand though to be changed water pipe between here and here pulled off pulling off this one now one thing I just want to show is I have that little hook if you can see it I don't know who makes it there's no name on it but I have to say that's a great little yoke for sticking in underneath the hose to get a reference of the length of it look it's from at my finger to my I don't know you call that knuckle um, but yeah handy little thing for pulling off bits of pipes okay a bit more room mate this little steel pipe sitting here there's a bolt that's going in down here at the back how do you need the two yeah go on the ground I had that a deep socket and and the bolt still in there anyway which is a good thing didn't lose that that's kind of st stuck in there and um, not that you want to be seen but anyway that bolt is going in from there which is a little bit awkward to get out. I need to get out. And what did I use? A little catch can. And I had that, okay? Just to get out that one bolt, get this bit of pipe out of the way. I also disconnected off the cooler. Okay, I've been in the back and pulled off a couple of little bolts. A little bit tight to get in there, but again, relatively straightforward bolts that I got in it, just to pull a couple of more water pipes and stuff that were hanging down around here out of the way. Now, I'm going to give you a cross reference. As a visual, I'm going to have a bolt here, 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 and here. Have that out, have that out, have that out. And this one is what I'm looking at now. Okay. So there's the top one. The back one is one of them is here, the one of them is here. They're saying to take the studs out as well as a five millimeter. Five millimeter socket fits the top of the, of the stud. Just take the studs out back here. Now, I'm going to send you down. Look at this for a stupid design. If we can get in there. Hold it on. Can I? You can't. Can you see it? I don't know. The actual bolt. The last bolt is in there right on top of the starter. I said it's in there right on top of the starter and lo and behold I have to take the starter motor out to get in at it. And then they have a steel pipe, water pipe going along right in front of it. So they could make it just that slight little bit more of a stupid design. So for now, I have to get it up in the air and go underneath and possibly get out that starter motor, okay? We'll do that and see where we go for the one last bolt. Lovely design in the again. Okay guys, from underneath, my yoke is the DSG, but I can see that bolt from there. I have got in and got the bolt out of the water pipe and I can get up and loosen that. It's tight, but I'm gonna take it off and uh, Hopefully, fit you down our cooler from the top, but that's on the bottom. Sitting down there, okay? From the bottom where I can, where I can see the bolt on the bottom. Now, I know this is me being a 
lazy so and so but I can get up a screwdriver and I can spin off that nut I don't know if you're seeing it it's not really great on the camera now either but I'll try and send it up and see if you can see what I've seen so I don't need to do this now at this point with the screwdriver I could get out my fingers but I am uh, I am able to get up with that and I'm going to get it out and hopefully that water pipe will move out of my way so hopefully I get it out without taking a starter so doing a whole lot more um, stripping. I am as I said there just being lazy and my bolt has gone to the ground there's my damp wet floor okay so that bolt is out of it fingers crossed you okay guys so I dropped this thing down and I was going to try and wiggle out my EGR valve it was a little bit tight so I said I'd, I don't have this EGR pipe at the back off I would unbolt it here on this side, but I didn't take it off fully. Maybe I should unbolt the bolts at the opposite side of it. But I said I'd pull this one out of my way to give me a bit of room. You see what we see? Our um, proof is in the pudding. You can actually see it in through the temperature sensor hole as well. What I did notice, and I didn't see it on... Is that that temperature sensor? I didn't see it on that temperature sensor but on the other temperature sensor if I can find it she's probably holding or doodling or I don't know there she's actually sitting in there maybe that's not it's after drying off now but that was um, wet when I took it out yesterday whether that's of any signification to me or what but lo and behold yeah there is a a lot that should be exhaust gas and I snapped the throttle on this the other day and when I did it gave a kind of <laughs> And it ran a little crappy and it must have been snap throttle more exhaust more exhaust pressure back here more exhaust pressure then and the EGR valve open and downward cycle of the engine and it blew in some of this water in there and I'm assuming with that being half full it would bubble 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 and slowly but surely get ingested into the engine but this is a, a good thing and the proof is in the pudding right now so a good test for anyone if that was relatively easy to get at if anyone has this problem get off this thing and send in a boroscope in here Okay, cross-reference to my, our conclusion, it's going to be a, a very visual and easy thing to see. Okay, All right. We're going to try and wiggle this thing out. This is a two-handed job. It is starting to move. It's not falling out, of it, but it is starting to move. Have a little bit of resistance, as I said, from that EGR pipe and maybe that little bit of a water bracket down the front, but it should come out. Figure okay, guys, I was just wiggling out my EGR cooler and it's a bit tight on the back and I'm just showing you this is a mirror, and you can see that little sleeve there, okay? That's coming from the head into the EGR cooler. Just be careful, it's only a little bit of plastic, maybe so long, with an O-ring on each end of it, okay? But it pushes into the head and pushes into the EGR valve or cooler. And it actually slides in here. So these are the bolts, this is gonna sit on, up and on. To the block like that what i'm showing you is down at an angle with the mirror sitting here which is showing this piece in here okay as i said like the size of my finger it just sits in there with an o-ring in it and it does the same inside in the head and it's held in via those bolts that we are taking out already so just be careful with that when you're taking out don't lose it and don't break it okay okay guys i have taken it out of it but i'm going to tell you it's a little bit of a wiggle and a struggle you can kind of see that there not much give in that water pipe and once the nut was off it for the plate for the plate to come back I had to push against the water pipe to get over this so what I had to do was I put a pry bar down in here and I just twisted it so I'll give you an example with the screwdriver so if I, if I put in the screwdriver like that and I twisted it like that to push it out but the pry bar is a bit wider so it forced that water pipe back a slight little bit what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna, just because I don't, I don't want to take out the starter, it's awkward being a VSG, uh, I'm actually gonna take a little nip off of that just to allow it to go back in that little bit easier, okay? That's what I'm gonna do, whether it's right, wrong, good or bad, that's what's happening at this point. For speed and ease. Okay guys, I have nipped a little bit off of that. I'm gonna just have to screw on a nut to make sure that the nut will start for me underneath quite easily. All I'm doing is just clearing the treads and making sure, okay? Um, so that's that bit. Out of the way. I'm going to give you a little look at the hole in there that that little pipe sits into okay so I'd say that now I could probably push in push in this I have seen guys 
to forget. But that actually, because it's so deep, I might actually prefer to put it into the... I don't know, maybe not sure, because I can't be wrong. So look, there's the, the level of where the bolts are going to be. It has to go into it. 10 mil, hasn't it? I'll maybe leave it at that. That's where I'm going to stop and start this time. You saw it, but it's full of coolant, which is just at the spilling on the floor on me right now. Sit up there. Uh, don't be doing that. Okay, anyway, that's it. We're on the way back in now with ease because of that little little nip taken off the top of the bolt, okay? Time to get okay, it back in. Little rubber pipe sit in place. And I have to say the EGR valve, EGR cooler sat in nice and easy once I had that little two mil or whatever it was taken off the top of that bottom bolt, okay? So that's all sitting in place, sitting in nice and starting to squeeze up and get it back together at this point. Move on. Couple of bolts holding it back in place. EGR pipe, temperature sensors, a couple of bits on go. I'm going to get out and put in the bolt. I'm oh, sorry, the nut on the bottom at this point, okay? Okay, guys, that's going back in. I went up with the magnet, I held it on with a long screwdriver, and then I took the magnet out and started twisting with another screwdriver. So she's on go or starting to go there now with a long screwdriver. I don't know if we can, if I can uh, do this while holding the camera one second. Is that a long? No, I don't like that. One second. And a long. The long screwdriver is just doing that kind of a job, okay? Not the easiest. It is doable, but just not with a camera in hand, okay? Thank yeah. All right, cross it. Not turning as easy as you should. Right? Danny, that's what I'm at, okay? With, with one hand or with two hands, all right? Oh. Okay, okay. Bolt tight. On we go. Good bit of little bits and pieces starting to go together. A lot of flimsy little things. Bits of plastic, bits of pipes, bits of stuff. Don't know, very, very basic, but this is what I'm doing. Bit of cardboard, you, not cardboard, is it? Paper, kind of type stuff. Um, just to hold the bolt. Maybe there is a magnetic, probably would be actually good to have a set of magnetic top um, torques. But anyway, that's what I'm using to get in a, stuff in at the back and a lot of little mirror work just to make sure that I have all the back stuff reassembled right. Take your time here, guys. Put everything back in where it should be, you know, back in, in the real deal clips and back in the little hooks and stuff. And I do see that little pipe that's hanging there that isn't fitted correct and I can't see. It should be held there and held there, but it's not, it's held here. But I didn't have that off and I can't, I can't figure that one out yet, but I'm just trying to get everything back together as it should do. A bolt to go into these two pipes where they hold together and a couple of bolts going into the back, back here, but yeah. Keep on going. Temperature sensor is going down here somewhere, right? It's hanging around here, but I'm putting on a couple of pipes first, just in case that's in the way. Quite, um, maybe tight and stuff, but worth doing it right. Using the mirror, using the, you can see the Torx driver, and just trying to get brackets in, in at the back that had to come off to get water pipes and stuff out of the way. Probably wouldn't have to do it, but I do recommend trying to get back in at them and get them in as good as you can. Have a bit of pride in the old job, isn't it? Get it as good as you, as good as you can have it, as original as possible. The home run, squeezing up a few bits and pieces. Fuel filter, housing and filter gone in. Uh, water pipes, any other bits of clips and stuff that I have to get in, gone back on. Nice, the way the Volkswagen color coordinated the Fuel lines okay. Um, yeah, keep on going. Getting ever closer to the end. Okay, guys, that is kind of it for this one. Nothing really to show and prove. The walkthrough is done. Um, I have to put a bit of coolant into it, start it, run it, make sure everything's okay. The all the bits and pieces. I might give it a wash down here as well to get rid of my residue. The one thing I can say is that little pipe that I was bothered about that wasn't hanging in the right spot. I believe I have found my routing for it now. It was popped out here and in the little white lines and stuff there. Looks as fairly kind of right, but that is back where it should be. And everything else that I could find is in uh, exactly as it should be as well. So look, there. Hopefully for this one, you're going to find or get some bit out of it or some bit of good out of it. It's not the easiest of tasks. If any of your DIYers, if you're used to doing a bit on cars, yes, go for it. A little bit slow. 
a lot of little bits and pieces in there to be changed, fiddly little bits, but in saying that, look, it's not a very, very hard job. It's just a slow, I have to say, I, I, it kind of ran off slower than what I expected. I thought I'd have this changed in about three hours. To be honest, to God time frame, I started putting this together this morning at about 10 o'clock. I was just done at half one. That was the putting together part of it. Uh, no, actually, I tell a lie, I had to get out that EGR valve, that little bit of a bolt where to get it out past that, but it was disassembled in its total totality. Yesterday evening, probably maybe an hour, two. So slow enough reassembling it now to drive and make sure everyone's right. But at least we've seen this thing full of water. So yay, happy days. This is a common uh, occurrence, I believe. So happy days, one for the books for us all to learn and know about. And uh, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you in the next cartoon. Peter Kennedy, signing out. See you guys. Okay guys, lesson learned. This pipe I pushed back slightly and that split and I had to take it out again. Buried back down and in the back. So for the next lad that's going at it, make sure you unboard fully and take it out rather than doing what I done and, and push the back a slight little bit, 10 mil out of my way. Um, yeah, every yoke throws in a curveball, but that's life. All back together, all washed up. My silly little, little pipe that I got bit on in the back, put back in place, but that's her. Ready to go. See you in the next one.